Hey YouTube, your favorite YouTuber here, Ian Perez is 48 here, and today I am in a loss for words right now. I am still speechless since I first woke up. Today, I have reached a thousand subscribers again. That is right, folks. The road to 1K has come to an end. And I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much for helping me reach to a thousand subscribers again. What a roller coaster it has been since I had to first create a new channel because of, you know what, termination of my original channel. And I just never thought that I would get to a thousand subscribers again in two years. And certain reason why I got there, but I still really appreciate the support and all the good stuff. You guys are the best fans out there. Ian Nation Army is still going strong, and I'm just... I have no words to describe about this feeling. I have no words to describe about this. I really don't know. Like I knew I was going to get it, but I didn't know it was going to be like this soon. And well, I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know what to say, okay? I'm very happy for all the support that I've been getting since the very beginning of 2013 and the the support I've been getting when I had to create this new channel and I just I just don't know what to say personally after I made I, no after I, I'm sorry I I was my sub talking anyway um Personally, after my original channel got terminated in uh, May of almost two years ago, 2019, personally, I didn't want to make any videos again. I really did not want to make videos again. It was it was a terrible feeling. It was a it was a nightmare to go through. Like I've done like almost six years of content on that channel, and just to have that gone like that. I'm like, there, there was a point I was like, what's the point of making videos again? Because I just lost my channel almost six years worth of videos. There's no point in all that stuff. Like that was a moment when I lost my YouTube channel. Like I felt hopeless. I was scared. Still, still wondering what the hell happened. I don't know. Like I, I'm sure I'll never get my original channel back. Could you imagine my original channel comes back? That would be awesome, but will it ever happen again? Will it ever? Will I ever get my original channel back? I don't think so. But I'm still glad that I'm making videos for you wonderful fans out there. And after after I went through that hell, I was thinking, do I really want to make videos again? throughout this long recovery. I originally, I wanted to make videos on my second channel. I was, I didn't want to, but I was thinking about it, but I, I was like, no, because I wanted to start fresh. So yes, I wanted to create a new channel to start fresh. Originally, I wanted to make a new name called the big eye because I don't fucking know I wanted like something new original because my original name when I first created a channel was Ian Asker 48 and then almost four years later I had to change my name to Ian Nation 48 why did I make it the big eye I don't know I guess I wanted it to be original and then I thought the name was stupid so I was like okay I Perez 48 that was stupid as well. And then here we are now with Ian Perez 48. So yes. And then here we are now, um, almost two years later, a thousand subscribers once again. It's unreal that I'm recovering this fast. And the support I've been getting, regardless of 
whatever circumstances. It means everything to me. You guys are the reason why that I keep making amazing content for you guys. I do my best to make people happy. Like I love to share my passion of motorsports with you guys. No matter what it is, I love motorsports. I love racing to death. And and the support it's just it's just meaningful. And I'm glad that I'm still making videos for you guys. I am glad that I decided to keep going. I am glad that I decided not to quit making videos because of the termination. And just, wow, honestly, I didn't think it, I did not think it was gonna happen this fast, to be truthful. But this means a lot to me. I want to give a big shout out to, of course, my fans, you, I will say it again because I mean it. You guys are the best friends out there. I also want to give a big shout out to my YouTube friends. And also my friends that I do reactions with. Um, originally, I didn't want to do reactions because like after 2018, after the 2018 racing season ended, I retired from making reactions uh, because eh, personal reasons. That I do not want to talk about. And um, 2019, I only did like face cam reactions for Daytona Speed Weeks. I didn't really know if I wanted to do it or not. And then, and then termination happened. And then last year, before the Chili Bowl, I was I announced that I was gonna do Chili Bowl reactions. I didn't at the time. I didn't think I wanted to do like oh like a bunch of races like part time. Um, I want to do like, I guess special races. I don't know, but, but then, like before they, like before either, fuck, Relux 20, I, of course I did a Relux 24, uh, reactions. And um, before Speed Weeks, I was like, you know what, you know what, I want to come back to do reactions, but I want to do it part time. Like I'll do whatever races I can do. Reaction, uh, so group reactions, solo reactions, whatever. And I'm very glad for when I do reaction videos. I'm still getting the same love and positive feedback. Like awesome feedback, just like my original channel. Yes, I know there have been some certain bad memories of reactions this year. Being a Ross Chastain fan, but it is what it is. <laughs> but I'm glad that I do reactions with my friends. I'm glad that I do stop motions. Like I'm I'm 20. I still love collecting die casts and I still love doing stop motions. I've always wanted to do stop motion videos since I was like nine or 10. And my big race was the old school 200 on my original channel, but because my termination, um, like I don't think it will ever happen. Like I I, do, I I know I said like in the beginning of 2020 or late 2019 that I want to recreate stop motion races, old stop motion races I did just like the New Orleans Xfinity race for 2016. But I want to do it. I tried to do Bristol, but I forgot what happened. I, I don't. I, uh, things were working out. Hopefully, like in the future, I can do do recreations of old races, of stop motions. Of what I can remember. Will it be the same way for the old school 200 races? I don't know. I don't. And just to let you guys know. I was about to get started on the 2019 old school 200 races. Before the termination. I was about to get ready. And boom. So I don't know. Let's see how things go in the future about whatever. And also for racing stories. I wanted to make... Racing stories on my original channel because I, I'm going to talk about stories about any motorsports. And also, yesterday, I'm going to give a big shout out to NASCARNEG2488 for being a part of it. Also, please go subscribe to his channel. He's almost to a thousand subscribers. He's been on YouTube for almost 11 years. And personally, I think he deserves more subscribers than I do. Personally, 
one of my amazing friends and personally he he deserves to reach to a thousand subscribers as well so subscribe to his channel nascar nick 2488 anyway i really appreciate the the support from the the, the bumper gate video i know i got like 23 dislikes i know my video wasn't perfect but there's no way it was bad I don't know what happened. I don't know if I was trolling because of the Jason Jacoby shit. I don't know what happened. I don't know why I have 10 likes and 23 dislikes. It's just weird. That's why I'm talking about it. But regardless of that, on the positive side, I really, I'm really happy that people enjoyed that episode of Raising Stories. So yeah, I know I've been rambling about this video. Like it's a thousand subscriber special. I'm rambling about random stuff. I know, but I just wanted to like, Say some stuff out of my chest about what was happening back then, now, what's going on in the future, all that stuff. So, what am I gonna do for a thousand subscribers again? Because I reached, because on my original channel I had like 17, seven, uh, 1710 subscribers, so I'm trying to recover from that. So, what do you guys want me to do as a 1,000 subscribers again special? Feel free to tell me in the link in the description below. Like, what should I do? Because honestly, I have no clue. I don't. So if you got any suggestions, any ideas, hopefully if I'm not lazy, I'll do so. So with that being said, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys for helping me reach to 1,000 subscribers again. Also, I finally have the community tab. Actually, I I will get the community tab next week. I looked that up, so just in time for the Chili Bowl. <sighs> okay. Um, a couple of th another thing before I go. I don't know if I mentioned this, but like for the IndyCar reactions that I got blocked. They'll be on my second channel, Ian Press 48 Archives, but soon I'll change it to Ian Press 48's second channel. So yeah. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for the amazing support. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Don't forget to follow my social accounts in the link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for supporting E Nation throughout almost eight years, almost two years in this channel. Just I don't care. Thank you guys so much for the support. Y'all mean everything to me. This is the Empress 48 signing off. Thank you guys for supporting E Nation. Goodbye.